So in case you're watching this on YouTube, okay, um, this is the first, you know, airdrop on the Bitcoin layer two, okay, so Bitcoin layer two, because you know Bitcoin is fast becoming a blockchain that will allow smart contract deployments, okay, and you can see that right away. So this is like a smart contract, like a, a swap or a DEX or, a, or a, a, an exchange that has been deployed on the Bitcoin blockchain, okay? So just like you have Uniswap and Patrick Swap on Ethereum and, and, and uh, Binance blockchain at the same time. So you're going to be having Vela Swap on the Bitcoin blockchain. So you're able to trade assets, you know, tokenize assets, buy, sell, provide liquidity and stake, you know, on that swap, all right? So um, this is an article for you if you like to go through it. Okay, this is an article for you. Okay, but I, I noticed that not many people like to read a you know, long, boring article like that. They prefer to watch videos. So this is why I decided to make a video about this. You know, so this is my blog, you know, my my personal blog, Medium, contentking.com. So I'm gonna be leaving a link to this um, blog. In the video description, all right. Okay, so it's gonna be available in the video description right there. Okay, but let's go. Let's go. First thing you have to do, okay, you can hope we can click here to open this on a new tab. Okay, you click here to open this on a new tab. All right. So this is the Vela. Okay, it's your same Vela right here, isn't it? So it's like a normal swap. Okay, you can go there, launch the hub. You no. Know, Swap, provide liquidity, stake, you know, virtually everything. Farming is there. Virtually everything that you can do on on pancake swap can also be done right away, you know, right here. So now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here. First thing you have to do is to make sure that you have a wallet, okay, a Web3 wallet that you can use to interact with the Vela. All right. So if you don't have the wallet yet, you click on this link here, okay. Hero wallet. Okay, you can open this in your tab or we'll probably copy the link address. Okay, so you can view it. Okay, you can see it. So it is a it is a Chrome extension. Can you see? Okay, it's a Chrome extension reviewed by 61 people across the world, as you can see right here on your screen. And um, you know, it is being used by over a hundred thousand users according to this platform, according to Google Chrome. We say that it is being used by over a hundred thousand people across the world so we have over 400 people who are watching me live on ob exchange now and guys you know ensure that you hit the follow button okay that's how to stay with me you know stay with my community you know and enjoy valuable content i have to share with you so if you're watching this on youtube ensure that you hit the subscribe button now and turn on notification right away okay right away don't procrastinate don't delay it okay that's how to enjoy tons and tons of valuable content from me right so now you can see we move from chrome the reason why i see we move from chrome is because i've had there this wallet i've created a wallet here before okay otherwise it's gonna, it's gonna tell them to hide to chrome okay that's not a hard thing to do just click on hard to chrome okay hard extension to chrome then the extension will be downloaded to your browser automatically okay then you're able to hide that extension to chrome so for, for those of you who are going to be doing this on mobile phone um, I think that's a mobile browsers like Puffin browser, is it Puffin browser that allows you to add an extension? Okay, let me quickly. Ah, I think there's a kind of browser. I'm gonna find that browser. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find a link to that browser that you can use because I understand that not many people would like to do this on PC. Okay, and some don't even have access to a PC. Okay, so we don't have to be selfish about that. Okay, so I'm gonna be creating an, op an, op an option for you so that you can do this also on mobile phone. Okay, so um, I'm not going to click on this now because I already have the wallet installed on my PC. All right, so I have that installed on my PC. So now this is um, Hero. Okay, Hero Wallet. I'm going to go to Hero Wallet now and launch that wallet. Okay, and launch it. Where is it again? Okay, yeah, I found it. Okay, so it's been locked, as you can see. I'm gonna unlock it now. Let me go and unlock the wallet. Okay.
Hmm. Okay, anyways, we are just trying to check a few things right there. So let me go and unlock the wallet. All right. Let me go and unlock the wallet. Okay, so I have able to unlock the wallet as you can see right there on your screen. Okay, open a new tab. Yeah, I prefer to open a new tab because it gives you a wider access to it. So, guys, don't go on Play Store to download Hero Wallet on Play Store because there are a lot of malicious players right there on Play Store that uh, they just want to have access to your keys, you know, and send you and send you off your money. So be careful. So scammers are using the Hero Wallet name on mobile app stores. Do not install these apps, you know, and help us to report them to the app store. So in case you find the Hero Wallet on Play Store, okay, it's been developed and deployed by scammers, please and please make sure that you report that app to the Play Store. That is a fake one, right? So some of you will be saying, like, I have zero balance on Bitcoin and I have zero balance tax because we don't need your main net so it is free like you can participate for free like you don't need to buy any bitcoin or you don't need to have to buy any stacks before you're able to participate in this kind of airdrop campaign and you see so now let us go back to the article like that i published you know the guide you know and move to the next step okay so after getting the wall after getting the wallet which is an online wallet they create a new wallet and get started okay uh so I've created a new wallet as you can see right there on my screen. So switch the testnet network on the wallet by clicking the change network and select the testnet. So let's go back and do that right away. So how do you how are you going to do that? Come here, okay, then click on right now. I'm on the main network, so I want to switch back to the testnet network. So I'm going to come here and click on testnet. Okay, click on testnet. Can you see that has changed to testnet? All right. So if I click back on it, can you see? That's changed to what to test it All right so we are still following that instruction yeah so it has been changed to test net can you see that on your screen okay so now let's head over to the hero explorer to request for stx testnet token so due to high traffic it may take a while for the tokens to be sent to you so please be patient so all right so i'm gonna open this in a new tab okay this is a new tab then we connect the wallet. So we connect the wallet to this to request for testnet. So, so we're going to make a request for that. You request for that. It says STX coming your way shortly. Okay. STX is coming our way shortly. So let us have a look. So let us have a look. So I think we have some STX. Okay, we have some uh, 0.1 stacks. Okay, let's see if we can collect more from that. Let let us request again. Okay, so we're not able to get more. Can you see, can you see? probably have to come back again if you want more? But for now, we are not able to get more. Of that all right so um i'm gonna exit that browse that explorer okay now you have some stacks approximately 0 0.1 in our wallets so the next stage is that we're gonna go to this platform look at this now let's proceed to the developer websites at you know app.vela.co forward slash swap to engage in token swapping right so connect your wallet and start swapping tokens Okay, please note that it may take a while for the tokens to be processed. So, like there could be some traffic on the blockchain. So, for that, because Vela is actually based on the blockchain. Okay, so all interaction that you see on Vela takes place right there on the Bitcoin blockchain. Okay, so that's the Bitcoin layer to sort of. So, now you're going to come here now. This is the swap, right? So, I'm going to collect our wallets. 
So now we have your wallet, we're going to connect, we're going to connect your wallet to it. So we connect this account, can you see it? Awesome, awesome. So that has been that has been connected, All right? Uh, so why is it not showing our full balance for stacks? Come on, we have some stacks right there. Okay, we have some stacks. Okay, I'm supposed to change this to a wrapped. Okay, so STX. So this is taking if this is taking more time than expected actually. So I guess we have to wait. Okay, let me pause this. So as you can see, this wallet can be used to can use this wallet to receive to receive a Bitcoin if you want. Okay, but right here receive stacks with this wallet. All right, with this wallet. So let me check the activities. Okay, it is still pending. Can you see? It's still pending. So we will not we, so we have to wait for this, okay? Because we are interacting with a Bitcoin blockchain, and you know that sometimes we're very, very busy. Okay, so we have to wait for this to drop, All right? Yeah, so now that we've got some stacks, some STX testnet, so we can go right away and participate in this airdrop now. Okay, so I'm gonna refresh this. So I'm gonna refresh this now. Okay, um, still say that our balance is zero, it's not supposed to be zero actually, because we have because we have some stacks at the moment, so okay, so we have some stacks, it's not supposed to be zero. So possibly let me see if there is a way. Okay. It shouldn't be insufficient. Yeah, can you see? That's awesome. That's awesome. So we can use like like 50 stacks to buy uh Vela. Okay. So 50 stacks will give us how many Vela. Okay. So let me change that. It should be calculated. Okay. So let me say 50 is gonna give us 161. Okay, price is changing real fast. Okay, uh, let me say since we have no one, let me say 70 or uh, even 90. So 90 will give us 192, okay, 246. That's that's okay. So we're gonna swap. Okay, it's gonna say, okay, confirm this. Then we use our wallet to confirm the transaction. So you can see, and uh, this is the fee, we're gonna be paying 0 0.75 stacks. That's about one cent for as the fee. Okay, now that's you more than one cent actually. So I'm gonna click on that. Can you see you swap 90 wrap SD for days? Okay, man, this is the future of the Bitcoin blockchain. Like this is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna refresh this balance. So I'm gonna refresh this balance now. Let's see. Okay, let us see the amount of Vela that we have. Okay. Okay, so you know you're actually interacting with the Bitcoin blockchain, Bitcoin, you know, kind of. So you have to be, you have to be patient. Okay, the same process that it took for us to receive the uh, STX is still going to take us more time to receive Vela because we've done the swap. Okay, we have done the swap. We just have to wait. We have to be patient till you know you have to be patient till the, the other coin, the other token arrives. Okay, so. You can see it is swapping. Can you see it right there? It says processing. Okay, it says processing. So if you want to actually participate in this, you must be patient. Okay. So we have to be patient, guys. So we have to be patient. So we have to be patient. Okay, can you see still processing? So I'm gonna pause this video now. When it is fully processed, then 
we can actually continue with this so it took so it took several minutes to, to, to achieve this but as you can see it has been completed and we have successfully swapped stx to um vela successfully can you see right there now for those of you may be wondering like how did i get the stx so there's a test net request so just click here on the platform and request one one and one stacks okay that is faster than going through the hero wallet uh, test net okay so if you refresh this now you can see in the wallet now we have 245 vela in the wallet okay and we have uh, a balance of 10.20 10 10.25 stacks is still left in our balance right so the next thing we're going to do from now is that we're going to try and provide liquidity okay let's not even liquidity per se let us go back and see if we can stake so i'm going to try now to stake um 100 100 vela okay so i'm going to try and stake it now so it might take the same process like it might take some time okay but we're going to wait okay let's try to stake i'm staking 100 can you see on your screen i'm staking 100 of it so if you cannot wait if, if you can't really wait too much probably you cannot you cannot afford to wait too much to receive the stx okay once you create your wallet address just paste that address in the comment box i'm going to be sending you some stx immediately okay so they can participate as fast as possible okay so i'm doing that to help you to save time okay to help you save time so also let's try and see if we can um create a pool a liquid liquidity let's say you can actually add stx and vela to the to this pool let's see so now i want to i want to add like h to this okay this is the equivalent right so let me confirm this so we're going to be running two transactions con concurrently so that all of them can confirm almost at the same time okay so we've added to liquidity pool okay so now let us go back to the notification here to see the transactions can you see processing it could take some time to actually complete this okay so now we've added we've swapped so we have been able to swap our stx to vela okay then we're able to stake 100 of it and we're able to add to liquidity so it's actually take some time some time so i'll have to pause this video again okay once it's completed then we'll go back to see if we can buy the ido let's see if we can buy ido here let me check let me check if you can buy any one of these okay so at the moment these are not so you can apply for their launch pad if you want okay there's a link to apply for launch pad well, but unfortunately it is uh what is this called place order okay so these are place orders okay upcoming finish all of these are place orders there's no how you can actually participate in these uh token sales so but you have to watch out you have to keep watching out come back to the website you can also, you can also bookmark it you know or hard to you if you have a list maybe like a spreadsheet that you used to track um airdrop campaigns like this so you can create a spreadsheet for it add this to the campaign and see possibly if you can okay and see if you can come back and you know and do make some activities on a weekly basis okay so that you have no idea when the snapshot will be taken so once when the snapshot is taken then you'll be able to participate in all of this okay you know all of this so um you, you, you're not going to be left behind you're not going to be left behind so it takes times i'm going to pause the video now once this is done okay and i'll come back and show you right there in the video